Tarot Combos, a video course to accompany my book and audio book available on Etsy. Link in the description. Let's get started. Today, we are going to talk about work because everybody wants to know about work. What's happening with their work? I'm searching for a job. Am I going to be able to get one? Will I pass the interview tomorrow? When will I find a job promotion? I've been working here forever. Everybody wants to know this information. So work is a valuable skill to have when it comes to tarot. Now, our big cards that we're going to talk about today, well, this is just a beginning. I guess the sad part is I could probably talk like three hours on this, but we're going to try to wrap this up as quick as possible <laughs> because we have a lot of stuff to cover. Ace of Pentacles, obviously the creation, the creation of something, creation of something earthly, a work card, the creation of that. The Three of Pentacles, the birth, the three is a birth card. It is sort of a creation. What's the difference between these two? We're about to cover that. The eight, such a stable number of the eight. The person is working, diligently working. It looks like steady work indeed. And the 10, where we also have the culmination of rewards from work, where everything is going well and all of that. Now we factor in cycles card. We got the seven and the nine of pentacles combo to do. Let's sort of burn through what these three cards mean, because it is confusing. What is the difference between the ace and the three? The three is a birth of work. It's starting work. Sometimes it's getting requirements. You see this person handing them a sheet of requirements. And this is the start of it. So what's the difference? Let's go over that first. Now, the ace in my system is a job creation. What does that mean? That means you have this nice manager here. She is creating your job. We need somebody. I need a mid-level manager. I need an IT worker. I need a support person in my job. What do I do? I create the requisition. We create a rec. And then we're figuring out the requirements. What do I need for this job? Well, for a mid-level manager, probably need a degree, going to need some management experience. For an IT person, going to need some experience, maybe a degree, blah, 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 etc. right? We need to figure out the creation of the job. We need to get it in the system. That is the Ace of Pentacles. Now, there's a big difference here. Is the job ready to be filled? No. We're figuring out requirements. We're creating the process. We're in the ACE portion where it's being born, where the idea is being born. The entire thing is being started. The ACE is the lowest number. This is the bottom of the line. We are creating the job actively. Now we go into the three here, the three of pentacles. The job is created. We have it out there. Now we have people that are applying and we need to hire them. We need to review them. We need to interview them. This is sort of the start, the three of pentacles where we're filling the job. We're actively getting requirements. You can see the requirements here and you can see the requirements here. Very similar. We're doing an interview. So these people are finding out, you know, what is this person doing? How are you doing this? What type of things can you do? Here are my requirements. And that's what we have with the interview. We start searching for the candidates. The job is now open. It is now there. Was it open with the ACE? No. It was in the idea process. It was just getting started. It's being handed out. But now with the three, we're in the interview process. So again, if you're looking for a beautiful uh, set of cards, if I'm looking for a job, would be the ACE and then a three and an eight. I mean, this combo would be fantastic. So now we have the interview where we're going into interview. Obviously, this is going to be a big card in any interview process. If we have requirements that we need to meet, if we have people that we're interviewing, this is going to be the start of the interview. Great. If you're looking for a job, if you're going into an interview, this is fantastic at well as well because we show this interaction of the interview going good. Now, the last part of this puzzle is going to be the eight which is we're working at the job. This is where we're actually doing the work. We're filling everything. We've already got the interview process done. We're getting the work done. So if somebody asks, am I going to get the job? Am I going to get some steady work? Eight of Pentacles says, yes, we are steadily working in this card, steadily working. We're hammering this. We're putting this up. We're getting work done. This is steady work. A lot of times, if this is by itself, this is stable full-time work. Because a lot of people want to know, is it part-time? Is it full-time? 
Is it something I can make a career out of? The eight is a very stable, good career card, as well as the ten of pentacles as well. But I mean, that's kind of obvious just looking at it, right? All right, so let's go to the part-time versus full-time mix. Again, the Ten of Pentacles is such a fantastic full-time card. It shows the satisfaction. It shows having everything. You got an Eight and a Ten in the same read. You are golden, my friend. You are golden. So what about part-time work? A cutting or moving card can indicate part-time work. The Three of Swords is a cutting card. The Three and the Ten of Swords are completely different. Are completely different. The three is sort of a temporary or a surface level cut. The ten of swords is a heavy duty permanent cut. So if you have a ten of swords in there, it could be the job is permanently closed. A three, they're just sort of getting rid of somebody. A three of pentacles with a, a light cutting card or the three with a hard cutting card are going to be an indicator of part-time work. There's more indicators obviously in the next slide, but let's just sort of go through this for now. But Full-time, Eight of Pentacles with a Cycles card would be great. Eight of Pentacles, Nero, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles by itself. All of this luxurious money coming in. All of this good full-time work as it sort of rolls in. All right, let's look at part-time indicators. Movement cards, the Fool, the Chariot, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords. Movement, we're going to go over that in another video again. Trying to blow through this video, I'll have like 20 slides to show you. So movement cards, all right. Movement cards are important part-time indicators. They indicate you get in the job and you move away. Pretty simple. You're moving away, just like it says. We're moving away. We're getting something else done. Cutting cards, like I said, a lot of cutting cards. Three of Swords is a lightweight Band-Aid level cutting card. The Ten of Swords is a hardcore cutting card. You got to watch these cutting cards. We're cutting the job that's active, especially if we have a three of pentacles, which is, you know, getting the requirements, starting out at the job, the birth of the job. If you have a cutting anywhere near that, that is a very part time indicator. What do I mean by part time? Obviously, something's not going to give you a lot of hours. The more cutting we have, the more loss of money we have, the less hours you're going to get. A part time job could be great, though. They could give you tons of hours. That would be indicated by a nice card like a good news card, like the sun, right? We have a lot of hours, maybe an empowerment card. I have a lot of hours. I don't have many hours, maybe a five of pentacles, you know, where they're outside the church. They look kind of poor. That could be a part-time indicator. The job is cut short. Bad news cards. Again, we can go to bad news cards. We can look at um, a cutting like the Three of Swords cutting card. We can look at the conflict like the Five of Wands. We can look at the Eight of Cups, another bad news card. Um, lots and lots of bad news cards to choose from. We got the Nine of Swords we could have. We could have the Ten of Swords, another cutting card, bad news cards, Sun Reversed. We could have a lot of bad news cards in there. Any bad news cards may indicate that bad cards are going to be nearby or even after we get the job. That's going to be bad. Bad news. Leaving escaping reversed cycles cards. I know a lot of this I haven't covered yet. A cycles card is the wheel of fortune and the moon. They indicate cycles, day to day cycles. I wake up, I go to work, I eat lunch, I finish working, I go home, I do whatever I do at home. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune, it's a cycles card. It's an important card to have here. When you have the Wheel of Fortune, it indicates day-to-day -day cycles, predictable cycles, predictable things that we can rely on. Things don't change. Things are permanent. Things feel permanent. When this is reversed, we're looking at part-time. The cycles just aren't there. The cycles are interrupted, okay? Again, the Three of Pentacles next to the Three of Swords, a little cutting card, Band-Aid cutting card, Ten of Swords, whatever. We have a, a good work, and then we have a cutting of said work, part-time indicators. Um, you know, could be laid off, could be a part-time indicator. Again, depends on the question, but this combo is definitely part-time. Now we have a work card indicated by death. Death is change. Death means we're moving into something different. We're moving into another area. We're migrating into the next stage. Death is important here. 
because death means something is changing. If we have a steady job, if we have a job we're working at, and then we have change, that could indicate the change is indeed part-time. We could have something that is not going to be steady, something is constantly moving, changing. Seven of Swords as well. It's the clown leaving the circus, literally leaving this circus. So uh, we're looking at part-time, the clown leaving the circus. He's leaving his job. He belongs there. He was there. He's leaving. That could indicate a short-term job, part-time job. Again, it could be gig work, like you work, you're like you're doing in a band, or you're a magician, or you do uh, contract work. This is a good contracting combo here. I'm doing some work. There's some changes, and then we're out of there. All right, that could be gig work, uh, contract work. You could be looking at that. Let's look over here. We have work. And then we have a bit of drama with some fighting, some infighting, some drama at work with the five of wands. Um, we could have ten of wands. We're just loaded up. They load us up too much with work or they don't have enough work for us. Or we have the five of pentacles where the people are broke. We don't have enough money. Part-time indicators. And again, any exiting cards. Again, the seven of swords, eight of cups, all sorts of cards where we're exiting leaving the situation that we should be in and there could be a good reason for that but we are leaving so this is a short-term work or part-time work and again reversed cycles card we don't have the day-to-day -day steadiness day-to-day -day stability that we need in order to get stuff done so what's a good full-time indicator cards we're back to cycles look at that the wheel of fortune day-to-day -day activity i wake up I go to work. I come home. And this is a cycles. This is reliability. The moon, the wheel of fortune, cycles, cards matter. Hashtag cycles, cards matter. Full-time indicators, eight of pentacles, going to be a much more stable, reliable job than that three of pentacles to begin with. Three of pentacles, probably not the best full-time indicator. It can be in a pinch sort of a Walmart full-time indicator. We got it here just for fun here. But for the Eight of Pentacles, that really is stable. The Eight is such a stable number. The work this person's doing is so stable. It's looking fantastic. We have good news cards next to our work. It means the work is going well. The work is good. The sun, the world, all sorts of thousands of good, not thousands, but you know what I mean, billions of good news cards all around that indicate that things are going well. Things are going to be okay. Things have a bright future ahead of us. The Ten of Pentacles. We're getting the money. We have the happiness. We have the stability. We have the support. The Six of Wands. We have people celebrating us. We're appreciated at work. We have a lot of good things. Any good news cards around here really indicate full-time, steady. I don't have to be concerned. I don't have to worry when I go into work. I don't have to get an ulcer from work. Now, death reversed, death, the tower reversed. Those are change cards. This is where things are crumbling down. Things are not stable. Things are not reliable. Death is changes. Death is changes. When that's reversed, you could have a sort of a Walmart cycles card, right? Because we don't have the change. We don't have anything altering. We don't have a lot of things sort of happening here. And so it's nice and reliable and it's nice and simple. And that's going to be good news for us. A reversed change card. Death, tower, anything that indicates changes. When we flip it, we have a little bit of reliability. Again, it's a Walmart cycles card. That's okay. I mean, that's okay. I'll take it. You know, it's not exactly the best cycles card, but I'll take it. Death works. Next to the work, it works. It literally keeps you working. Now we have work next to the emperor. What is the emperor? That's an empowerment card. It means I have power. I have control. We have dominion, the two of wands. It's 
power. That is dominion. That is the powerful card. We have the emperor. We have the magician. We have power. We have substance. We have reliability. Okay? We have power within work. If you have the power within work, if you have the authority within work, that means that you are going to be there. That is full time. That is going to be good news for you. Same thing with the Six of Pentacles, the giving card. We have our best friend, a little doggy down here, Wolf Wolf. You know what I mean? Wolf Wolf time. The little doggy down here has lots of good news. And we're giving. We are giving out. That means the company is handing us money. The company is giving us rewards. Are they being stingy? No. A, a giving card, if you want a, a really Walmart giving card, you could have the Four of Pentacles where the guy's greedy. He's holding on to those pentacles. You flip that. You flip that. He's not being greedy. He's giving. He has giving you stuff. And that is going to be a Walmart Six of Pentacles, right? We can have one of those here as well. Now, the Connections card. This is so important. If you have a good connection at work, you have a good team at work. In other words, you are part of a team. That's what the lover says. In another video, we'll go over why the lovers, the two of cups, what's the difference between those making a connection? Six of cups as well. Making a connection, two of cups, six of cups. The lovers, we're making a connection. We have that connection. Any of those is going to be great around a work card. That's going to say that we have the connection. We're a part of a team. The three of cups, we're part of a team. Celebratory card. The three of cups, we're part of a team. The lovers, the two of cups, the six of cups. We have that connection at work. Being on that team means stability. It means full time. It means they don't want to get rid of you. They appreciate you. You are part of the team. All right, let's talk about starting versus finishing couple of unusual cards here, the Seven and the Nine of Pentacles. Let's talk. The Seven of Pentacles is currently working. We're digging a hole. We're planting these pentacles over here, and they're blossoming. We have one little tree. We have one nice little tree. The gopher, just like in Caddyshack, may be a problem, but we can ignore him and move on. We have this nice little tree. We're working on it. We're working on it. That's starting. Somebody asked about a new project. Somebody asked about, I'm going to be on YouTube. Can I, is this going to work out? Seven of Pentacles says, keep working at it. It's also investing in our future. The Seven of Pentacles, we are planting in hopes of having a brighter future. We're planting in the, we're having the prospect of working towards a reward. This is great in a love reading. The, the effort that you are putting into the love is, is blossoming, is blossoming over here. It is. It's working out. The effort that you're putting, the digging and all this work is blossoming and it's working out for you. Now, the nine is what happens after this guy plants and waits and waters it and loves it and gets rid of the gopher like in Caddyshack, maybe blows him up like in Caddyshack. I don't know. I wasn't there. This is working, and this is the reward of the work. Look at this. All the blossoms, the grapes, all of the extra food that's coming out of here, this nice fall harvest. This is the reward from doing all of this stuff over here. You have the end, the finishing, all of the beautiful reward. We are soaking up this beautiful scenery. We're soaking up all of the money tree. It's literally a money tree at this point that we have created. The, we did the work and now we're getting the reward. That is the difference between the seven and the nine of pentacles. They're a combo. If you have the seven followed by the nine of pentacles in a reading, that is, that, is the, that is the pentacle, that is the absolute most beautiful scenario you can ever have in your life. Because that means we worked for it and we got the reward. That's all you can really ask for. That is literally all you can really ask for. All right, so let's talk about starting. Again, the Seven of Pentacles, we're starting. Let's talk about that. Maybe we're starting a project. Maybe we're starting a new job. Maybe we're starting looking for work. We've started something. We're putting forth the effort in the Seven of Pentacles. Very critical. Uh-oh, the Six of Pentacles, people are not very giving. 
people are not very giving at all. We have a reversed giving card. Is it a Walmart Four of Pentacles where the guy's greedy? Absolutely. That means that your work that you're doing, the effort that you're putting forth in this project may not be rewarded. You may not have the reward that you need for that, which is frustrating, especially in a relationship, a work reading. You can't get the reward that you need from this particular aspect that you're pursuing. Very important to understand that here with this. Another scenario, you're working on it and then you bail. You're working on it and a buddy bails. You have a team project. We have three people that we need for this project. Two of them spontaneously leave, leaving us alone. You'll see this here with the hermit leaving us alone. Somebody leaves. Could it be you? Maybe. Could it be somebody asked me? What is happening with Fred at work? Are they leaving? They're a pain in my ass. I wish they would leave. This is looking good. Seven of Swords. That's looking like Fred's out of there. Will he be booted out? Will he be forced out? For, for that question, you need to look for these. You need to look for these empowerment cards. If he has a reversed emperor, he has lost his power. He has lost his ability. And yes, he could be forced out. We jam a reversed empowerment card like the magician, like the emperor, like the uh, one of the kings, a king of wands. It's reversed. You don't have the power. You don't have a choice. You're getting booted. Seven of swords, seven of pentacles, right? Seven of pentacles. We're working. We have a project. We're getting it done. Somebody leaves. Maybe us. We don't know. Seven of pentacles and the three of wands. We're working at it, but there's some distractions there are big distractions here. Why is there a planning card? Why are people planning? Why are people strategizing? We already started. The strategizing should be over here. You should be strategizing here. You should be planning over here. And then you should start work. You should not start work and try to figure out what the hell you're doing in the middle of the project. Come on. What are you doing? This is bad. This is not good. A restrictions card over here would be bad, too. We're working at it. We started, but we have restrictions over here. Maybe an eight of swords. We can't get what we need done. Let's look over here at the seven and the tower. We're working on it, and it collapses. It happens. It literally happens. We're working on it. We tried. We did. It collapses. Nothing we can do. Look over here. We have a team effort. We have a team working on it. We're actively working with our friends, with our family. We're trying to get things done. We have a team effort. We're celebrating. Then we start working on it, but the team bails and I'm alone. I'm just by myself. That's never good. It's not good when the team bails on you. All right. Am I going to get laid off? Bottom line, we need to know. We're going to reuse the Seven of Pentacles. Now, I don't... Don't think the Seven of Pentacles is the only freaking work card. It's not. The Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. There's so many work cards. We're working. This is a work reading. All right? The Seven of Pentacles is not the only card that needs to be here. We're just using it for example purposes to warm us up. The Two of Cups reversed. The lovers reversed. The six of cups reversed. We've lost that loving feeling, just like the song. That connection, that beautiful connection of that two of cups, it's flipped. We've lost the connection and now we're exiting. Add in a reversed empowerment card. We don't have the choice. We are being laid off. Add in an empowerment card right side up and we're leaving on our own free will. Because the empowerment card says we have the power, we have the ability, we have control. The magician, the emperor, the king of wands, an empowerment card where we are king. We know what we're doing. We are in control. When is, that's around this leaving card, we left on our own volition. We didn't get booted. A reversed empowerment card, goodbye, have a nice day. Reversed connection card, we've lost the connection. They don't trust us anymore. They don't have that connection. This is bad in a love reading too. You've really lost this loving feeling, just like the song. And there's not much you can do. I mean, it takes two people. The work needs to trust you. You need to trust the work. You lose that and somebody is out of there. So getting laid off, Look for a loss of connection. The two of cups, the six of cups, the lovers, things that give us that connection to each other. When they're not there, it's it's goodbye time. The wheel of fortune, the cycles card. We're back to the cycles card. 
the day-to-day -day activity, the reliability, the stability that is in the Wheel of Fortune and the moon reversed means the stability is gone. It is, right? You can get a similar feel with the two of pentacles where the guy's juggling the pentacles. He's making choices. When you reverse that choices card, you don't have the choice anymore. You've lost the choice. Is it similar to a reversed empowerment? Kind of. We'll have another video on this. But the two of pentacles means I have a choice. If I don't have a choice, if it's flipped, I'm out of here. A reversed cycles card. A reversed two of pentacles means we don't have the stability that we need. We don't have the choices that we need. We are out of here. The Lord of Defeat. Same problem. Same problem. We have a defeat. We are being defeated. Now, the world is important. It's the last card of the majors, and it's a good news card. Reversed? I'm not too, I'm not too, I don't have a big problem with a reversed world. But the world being the end card, the finale, the happy ending that you're looking for, that's important. It's the last card of the majors. It is your happy ending. When it's reversed, your happy ending just doesn't work. Anybody remember the Advil uh, Levine song, uh, There Goes My Happy Ending? Uh, go listen to it and look at a reversed world card. You'll get the combo. Uh, you'll get the meaning immediately. Eight of Cups, we're leaving. We're leaving. Is this a voluntarily? Uh, is this a voluntary exit? Absolutely. But we're still leaving, bottom line. We're still leaving. Laid off, this is sort of voluntary. Could be involuntary. It depends on uh, cards around it. Five of Pentacles, we're leaving not of our own volition. Does anybody want to be out in the cold without shoes, dressed like that, with a broken leg? No, nobody wants that. So the Five of Pentacles is sort of an involuntary leaving feel there as well. Now, we got an interview. Good news, good news. Second to the last slide. We got an interview. It's coming up. What's going to be some good stuff? Again, connection cards, the lovers, the two of cups, the six of cups, anything that we make a good connection. A lot of times when you go to an interview, everybody is qualified. Let's face it. We're going to interview five people today. All five are qualified. They know how to do the job. No problem. Now we need to figure out who is going to be the best teammate the best teammate, the three of cups, the best teammate. Who is going to be the lovers, the best person that can interact, that can connect with everybody else? Those people are going to be great. What you don't want is a highly skilled person that's an asshole, that doesn't get along with people. So during the interview, somebody who's personable, somebody who's able to make that connection, that lovers feel, that's going to be important. That means you passed. That means you made an impact. The Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, duh, those are great. I mean, come on, Ten of Pentacles, those are all great. We've, we've reviewed those. Let's not do it again. Those are going to be great. Those are good news. Again, Wheel of Fortune, a Cycles card, day-to-day -day work, day-to-day -day full-time employment, looking good. That means you passed, all right? Three of Cups, a celebration card by nature, and also a teamwork card. Fantastic to see for if you pass the interview. And as always, an empowerment card. The Magician, it means you had the skills. You have the fat skills that they need to get the job done. That's critical. That's so critical. You have to have that. All right. Last slide. Let's go over complexities about all of this because we haven't had enough info. Let's bomb you today. Let's just bomb it in. Let's go right in. Restrictions card. Eight of Swords. It's, it's restricted. We have restrictions floating in here. Restrictions aren't good. They mean that I might not be able to get the job that I want. I might have some restrictions. I might have some monetary restrictions. I might have some restrictions about what I can do at work. I might be ready and willing to do the big job, but they give me some crappy small job. Restrictions smell bad. They do. Ten of Wands. What if I get overloaded? What if the bird takes a dump on me like I have on this card? What if I'm overloaded? What if I have a Ten of Wands moment where it's just encumbrance? It feels like they're loading me up. It feels like everybody else is taking vacations, but I'm stuck here working my butt off for the same pay that everybody else is getting. The Ten of Wands is a complexity that we need to deal with. We need to show them. We need to deal with them. We need to tell them. 
What about buttholes at work? The queen of swords, the king of swords. The king of swords is a totalitarian. He wants it done his way. It's my way. You're going to do it my way. I'm the king of swords. Follow the orders and do it. The queen of swords, Corella Deville, not a good card. It's not a good card. What if you just have an asshole at work? What if people are just mean? What if we have somebody at work like that? What if you have a boss like that, that's demanding, that wants too much, that expects too much, that's unrealistic, that just is not good, and you immediately want to leave? The Queen of Swords. We need to let the Queen know. Page of Pentacles. What if we feel like a newbie? What if it's a beginner job? It doesn't pay much. We're a page. We're a beginner. We're a newbie. We're rock solid stable. We're literally Dwayne Johnson, the rock. But the page of pentacles is a bit of a newbie. It is starting out. We feel like we're way, way underqualified for what we're doing. It is a complexity. The five of wands. What if there's work drama? What if the minute you get there, somebody's filling you in on how bad somebody else smells? I don't want to know that. I don't want work or drama. I don't want people talking about other people behind my back. The five of wands, we could have that drama. We could be in that complexity. The seven of swords, what if a lot of people are leaving? What if it's an open and closed door? What if, uh, what do you call, uh, I forgot what you call that. Okay, embarrassing moment. I forget, what is it, the, the rotary door? No, it's not that, you know what I'm talking about. Where you come in, you leave. You come in, you leave. It's like McDonald's hiring over there. You come in, you leave. People are there for a week. The Seven of Swords, a lot of people coming and leaving. We have a problem here. This is a complexity. The Tower. What if everything fails? What if they have this stupid project? You have stupid people running it. It fails. And now you're involved. Now your name is on it. What happens? The tower is not a good card. The four of pentacles, they're greedy. They're not willing to part with their money. We are applying for a raise. We're not getting hardly anything. Or they give us a management position. We're like, yay, but they don't pay us. They don't give us a title. They don't give us pay. What is a management position? They just overloaded us with work for no reason. We're getting dumped on. We're getting a Ten of Wands feel. Maybe the totalitarian, the King of Swords, is doing it to us. The Four of Pentacles says they're being greedy with the cash. The Six of Pentacles, the giving card, it's flipped. It's going to be the same similar, same similar. It's going to be a similar thing. We just have greed. And that is the end of my video on work cards. Again, I could go for two hours but we don't have the time. Prepare for the Patreon spam. And the rumors are true. Did you know I had a Patreon? A Patreon is where you can support me. If you like the work I do, if you like the things that you see on the channel, consider supporting me. What do you get, you ask? By the way, 51 patrons. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for all of your support. Everybody on screen is a Patreon supporter. Thank you, and thank you again. I cannot tell you how much your support means to me. I greatly appreciate that. Now, why are they there, you ask? Well, you get all the handouts from all of my projects. So if I have a handout for the collabs or the Tarot and the Seasons, the Selling Your Tarot on Kickstarter, Psychic Fair Secrets, all of the handouts, all of the cheat sheets. You get it all, including all of my books that I've written, the Tarot Oracles book, Echoes of Nature book, and the upcoming book that I have for the Waterfall Tarot deck. In addition, you get the Fluffy Virgo Lenormand and all the Lenormand cloths are all included. But the best part, one of the best parts as well, is I teach you how to draw. So if you're interested in drawing stuff, if you're interested in getting pet portraits out the window, I teach you secrets on how to do that in like four to five hours. You can draw the animals you see on the screen. I have secrets to how to do it super quickly. I have super quick method to where everything you see on the screen was done in four to five hours. What can you do with this? You can go to your local Facebook groups and sell it. You can go on Etsy and sell pet portraits and make some pretty good cash. I mean, on Etsy, just by the way, this is 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours of information and actual instruction. I show you all of the pencils to use, how to use them, all the techniques step by step, nice slow manner. And again, this is only four hours work. I mean, you see people on Etsy, 
doing um, realistic pet stuff. They're charging over a hundred bucks. So, you know, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in cranking this out in like four hours, then uh, definitely see my course. My, my, my actual pets look better than that. My, that's, that's kind of, I mean, that is like a three hour job there for me. Um, but yeah, the actual pets look better than that. I mean, cause look at that and compare it to that. I mean, mine look better. I mean, I'm just saying, mine look super realistic and I only do it four to five hours. Anyway, thank you for supporting and watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next time.